A day after Hezbollah's drone attack on an Israeli base killed four soldiers and wounded dozens, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has vowed to hit the Iran-backed Iran group without mercy. He said, Israel, we will continue to mercilessly strike the Hezbollah in all parts of Lebanon, including Beirut. Now, Netanyahu made the statement after his visit to the military base hit by the militant group near Binyamina in northern Israel. I want to clarify, we will continue to mercilessly strike Hezbollah in all parts of Lebanon, including Beirut. All this according to operational considerations. We have proven it recently and we will continue to prove it in the days to come. Israeli Defense Forces said it is investigating how the drone evaded its sophisticated air defense systems and hit the Golani Brigade training facility south of Haifa. Israel Army released footage of what is said military operations of the Golani Brigade in southern Lebanon. Meanwhile, Israeli soldier Amitai Alon, who was killed with three others in the drone attack, was buried in northern Israel's Agamon Hula on Monday with mourners crying over his coffin wrapped in an Israeli flag. Prior to Netanyahu's comments on Hezbollah, the new airstrikes against targets in Lebanon, including one in a northern Christian-majority town of Aitu, killed at least 21 people on Monday. According to the Aitu mayor, the house hit in Israeli strike had been rented to, to displaced families. Furthermore, Israeli army released footage of what it said was a Hezbollah underground compound in southern Lebanon. The Israeli army spokesperson, Admiral Daniel Hagari, commenting from inside the tunnel, said the alleged compound was intended for the Hezbollah to do a quote-unquote larger scale of massacre than the 7th of October. We're now in the bunker uh, that we found underneath a Lebanese house in a Shia village only a couple of kilometers from our border. This bunker was ready for Radwan forces, for a battalion of Radwan forces to enter into this bunker and do a raid into Israel and do a larger scale of massacre than the 7th of October. They were planned with the motorcycles here to go to Kiryat Shmona, to Iftach, to villages and uh, positions inside Israel and conduct a massacre. As Israel presses its campaign against the Hezbollah militants in southern Lebanon, the United Nations Security Council voiced strong concerns after several UN peacekeeping positions in southern Lebanon came under fire. The UN peacekeeping chief said United Nations peacekeepers will stay in all positions in Lebanon despite Israeli calls for them to move. The decision uh, was made uh, uh, that Unifil would uh, currently stay in all its position uh, uh, in spite of the uh, calls that were made uh, uh, by the Israeli Defense Forces to uh, vacate uh, the position that are in the vicinity of the Blue Line. Though the Israeli Prime Minister has rejected accusations that Israeli troops deliberately targeted the Unifil peacekeepers in Lebanon as completely false and repeated a call for them to be withdrawn from combat zones. Hezbollah uses UNIFIL facilities and positions as cover while it attacks Israeli cities and communities. These attacks have claimed the lives of many Israelis, including yesterday. In Gaza, the Palestinian Ministry of Health said the Israeli forces killed two Palestinians, including a teenager in the West Bank city of Jenin which has seen repeated military raids. The United Nations Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, condemned the large number of civilian casualties in the intensifying Israeli campaign in northern Gaza. Meanwhile, in Iraq, a funeral was held for Iranian Revolutionary Guards Deputy Commander Brigadier General Abbas Nilfarushan, who was killed in an Israeli strike along with Hezbollah chief Hassan Nasrallah on September 27th. This is one of two funerals held for Nil Farushan in Iraq.
The second one will be held in the city of Najaf and later the body will be taken to Iran for burial. A correspondent, Jody Cohen, is now joining us live from Renana in Israel. Jody, the latest we've heard, IDF has discovered a tunnel near the border. What more can you tell us about it? Hi, Isha. So the IDF have said that they found a large underground Hezbollah complex, including 800 meters of tunnels under a village in South Lebanon. They said this was a Hezbollah base from where uh, Hezbollah plans to attack Israel, similar to Hamas's massacre on the 7th of October. They said this was planned on a larger scale. Now, in the tunnel, they found arms, including anti-helicopter missiles, mortar shells and rifles, motorbikes, beds and a fully stocked kitchen. And there are reports that Hezbollah was planning to kidnap Israelis back into Lebanon. Now, remember, Hezbollah joined in the day after Hamas's attack on the 7th of October, firing rockets almost daily into Israel. Now, on Monday evening, 180 communities in Israel had to seek shelter as Hezbollah fired rockets in central Israel, including Tel Aviv. Israel is targeting Hezbollah terrorists and infrastructure. Israel has carried out, as you said, a strike in A2 in northern Lebanon, which is a rare strike in northern Lebanon. And there are reports that Israel may have been targeting a senior Hezbollah leader there. And Israel is also reportedly targeting Hezbollah's drone operations in an attempt to prevent drone attacks. Jody, the UN peacekeeping chief has said that they will stay in all positions despite warnings by Israel. What is uh, the reaction to this in Israel? Yes, so UNIFIL has said that they would stay in all positions in southern Lebanon after Israel called for UNIFIL to temporarily move out of harm's way. Now, we know that five UN soldiers have been lightly injured in the fighting between Hezbollah and Israel. Prime Minister Netanyahu has categorically refuted claims that the IDF targeted the UN soldiers. He, was, he said that Hezbollah is taking cover by UN positions, that Israel is coordinating with UNIFIL while defending Israel. Now, UNIFIL is there under UN Resolution 1701, and the agreement was supposed to keep Hezbollah disarmed and north of the Litani River. But the IDF has said that the tunnels and weapons that they found were close to UNIFIL posts near the Israeli border. And many commentators suggest that UNIFIL have been ineffective in implementing 1701. Netanyahu actually went further. He said that UNIFIL's refusal to evacuate makes them hostages of Hezbollah and endangers them and the lives of Israeli soldiers. Thank you, Jody, for joining us for the latest on that. For all the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.